Let's welcome in the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, uh, you had to go up against a goalie that made 15 saves tonight. Um, maybe not a perfect effort and all, but I thought you did some good things in this one. Oh, we did. I mean, we just didn't put away some good shots, so we had some really good opportunities. Uh, but, you know, overall, it's kind of a matter of fact. You know, we got out there. We did what we had to do. I didn't think we played with a lot of great energy uh, until, like, the, until the fourth quarter, really. But um, we just got to do some things better. We got to get a lot better effort against Cabrini on Friday. But, you know, senior day, we got a lot of guys in. Uh, it's good to see Shane and Tyler play a game. You know, they get to play a full half in a while, so it's great to see those guys play really well and Chris Renardo face off really well. So those guys, some of those seniors did a great job. But, you know, we got the job done, but we got to play better on Friday, that's for sure. You mentioned Cabrini, and that is a big game Friday night. You haven't had a tough game like that or a highly ranked faced a highly ranked team in a while. What do you expect out of that? Well, we played uh, um, Christopher Newport a little while ago. They were ranked in there. So, you know, we're not going to be afraid of anybody. You know, we've played a great schedule. I think we'll go up there and give a great effort. You know, they're obviously a quality team. We got them last year, so I know they're going to be excited to play us. But, you know, it's always good to go up there and uh, play a good game. And they got some really good offensive guys. And, you know, they play a good defense. They play a little zone. The goalie's pretty good. Faceoff guy's not bad. So we've seen them a little bit. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go up there and give them a great effort and hopefully come home with a victory. Uh, JT scored three tonight. He's now within nine of the all-time goals record here at Stevenson. Can you kind of put into words what JT's meant to this program over the last few years? Well, he's done a great job. You know, the being uh, nine of Richie Ford's record is pretty incredible. You know, Richie was a very talented player for us and scored in, uh, scored a lot of goals. So to get it, uh, if he passes him at 181, that's real, something real special that he can carry with him for a long time. And, you know, that's a special mark in our history. Some really great players that were multiple All-Americans and went to a lot of NSA tournaments. And, uh, you know, that'd be a great thing for JT. He's done a great job in his career here, and we're sad to see him go. But if he gets that record, that'd be a, a really good a notch in his belt. I think you should be really proud of that. No doubt. No doubt. Who'd you bring up tonight? I didn't even... Oh, Ethan's here, I guess. Oh, it's you know, Ethan? Ethan. Oh, I see the light was in the way. Yeah, I he's wearing, a, he's wearing a real classy no. sweater, I guess, there. I, know, I don't got know. dressed right. up. I think Did he a, think it was It must formal? be a New Jersey thing His family's like not even here, either. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. But so. we know they're watching. Yeah, know but uh, Ethan's doing a great job and you know, leading the offense there. Yeah. He's done really well, averaging about six points a game. So, you know, we need him to play well and keep keep what he's doing, keep it going. So he's doing a great job. Coach, good luck on Friday night. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you. We won't see you until the playoffs. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.